Hi guys! I'm going to be talking to you about some books today that I think are really great for kids who are into chapter books, who are, you know, um, working on uh, graphic novels, and really uh, could be interested in some of the books we're talking about today. The first one I'm going to talk about is Jada Jones, Jada Jones Rockstar specifically. This is a series about Jada. Um, this is Jada right here on the cover. And she is um, in school, and right before the school year starts, her best friend moves away. So she doesn't have a lot of friends, and she is looking for um, new friends, but she also really likes science. So this is one of those books where um, you're going to have a lot of fun science stuff in it as well. So if you're into science or STEM activities, this is a book that you might like. Jada Jones Rockstar specifically is about Jada who gets a um, assignment to collect lots of different types of rocks. So there's a lot of cool rocks out there. I don't know if you've taken a look around when you've been walking around outside, but what Jada wants to do is collect as many as she can. She has to work in a group though. She can't work on it by herself. And the problem is, like I said, her best friend moved away and she doesn't really know a lot of the other kids. So this is a book about um, her trying to make friends um, at school, trying to make new friends, and trying to find people who also like her same interests and want to join the rock um, assignment with her to help her find rocks um, in it. It's got different formats. It has, um, like here's a postcard from her friend Mari. There's some other different... Let's see. No, 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 no. There's pictures also included throughout. The only colors are black and purple, so which is pretty cool. All the words are in black, and then we do have some purple in the pictures. Um, and the words you can see are pretty big on the page. Chapters, lots of fun stuff. There's them collecting rocks in the park. And this is a really fun one if you're looking for um, a book that you uh, might like to read um, for for around people your age. If you are in this level, if you're reading this book, the chapters and starting to get more into our JPEG section, then you might like something like this. If you like Jada Jones, there are many books that are coming out that have a science theme. Um, so if you are into the books that have the STEM and the science and the engineering, then you might also like um, some other series that I'm going to point out right now. So in addition to Jada Jones, we also have Zoe and Sassafras. So Zoe is um, this little girl right here, and Sassafras is her cat. And this one's called Dragons and Marshmallows, but there's a whole series about Zoe and Sassafras where they use science um, throughout the book. It's similar in that it has pictures and um, bigger words and fonts, chapter books, of course, and they use... Um, different techniques and scientific methods to uh to go about their day this is called zoe and sassafras dragons and marshmallows but right in this book you can already see there's zoe and sassafras monsters and M mold i think monsters and mold and then zoe and sassafras mer horses and wow it's really tiny guppies i think I can't read it, it's so tiny, but um, we have the book at the library, so I can always get you um, the actual copy. We can see what it's called. So it does have a little bit of like the fantasy element with the mer people and the dragons, um, but it's based primarily in um, science and her using science throughout her day. Okay, and then we have Adelise on the case, and this is another little girl who uses science as well. She solves mysteries. Um, she's a scientist and inventor. And in this particular book, she is trying to find a dog that has been dog napped. Again, this is a series similar with the bigger words. It does have some pictures throughout, not as many as the other books, but we do see some pictures. And she is using science and her inventor skills to solve a mystery in this book. This is also a series, Ada Lace, and we can show you that as well at the library. Moving on. Oh, I'm sorry. There's one more. The last uh, one I want to introduce to you that is similar in theme to the ones I just showed you is the um, the questionnaires. This is based on a picture book series. So if you remember Rosie Revere Engineer or Iggy Peck Architect or any of those other ones that look similarly to this, you would recognize them if you've seen them. This is now an early chapter series 
and we have all of them here at the library. So at our library, we do have this sticker that says second and third grade. That generally means that it's going to be chapter books that are going to be in similar formats with the pictures and the bigger words. And that is primarily what you're gonna wanna look for if that's the reading level that you're at um, here at the library. So Rosie Revere, this is um, the picture book, came out as a picture book, this is furthering that story. Um, but like I said, there's a whole series of the questionnaires. And the cool thing about this one is that at the DuPage Children's Museum, they actually have an exhibit called the questionnaires. So if you really like these books and your grown-up says it's okay, you can go to the, um, the Children's Museum and kind of explore with these characters and do you know some of the science that they do in these books. Um, it's not just science though, it's technology, engineering, there's math in it. Um, the questionnaire is really good series if you're into STEM things, okay? All right, now we're moving on. On the other hand, if you're not into science, if you're looking for something a little bit different, what about Super Turbo? So this is a book about a hamster who lives in a classroom. So he is a classroom pet. His name is Turbo, and throughout the day, he spends his time playing with the kids, being an everyday normal hamster, but when the school closes, he becomes super Turbo. And he goes throughout the school saving um, animals and protecting the classrooms, making sure everything is going A-OK. -okay. What I like about this, photo, this book is that it does have the paragraph format, but then it also has comic panels. It is a combination of paragraphs and then the comics. So here's a paragraph page. Let's see if I can find a comic page. When he goes on his missions, he tends to be more comic-y. So let's see if I can find one. So here's a comic page um, with the panels and the word bubbles. So that's a really good way to introduce graphic novels and comics if you're interested in getting into those um, without fully doing the graphic novel format. Or if you just like graphic novels but you want to read a chapter book, then this is kind of like a, you know, it kind of has both. But like I said, um, what Super Turbo finds out is that he's not the only class pet that is a superhero. He realizes that many of the other class pets, the bunnies and the geckos and all the other ones, are also superheroes. So they team up together to try to beat Whiskerface. Whiskerface is a rat who's evil who's trying to take over the world. And together they go up against Whiskerface and his rat army to try to prevent them from taking over the world. So all of that is happening at night when the school is closed. During the day, completely normal animals just playing with kids. And at night, they go on superhero mode. So that's a really cool one. It's called Super Turbo and it is a series as well. Fun fact about this one though, is that they are actually turning these books into graphic novels. So see we have Super Turbo Saves the Day. It is the uh, chapter book format. And then we also have the graphic novel format of Super Turbo Saves the Day. Now these are full color, all panel graphic novels. So if you prefer graphic novels, you can read the same story either after you read the chapter book or instead of the chapter book in the graphic novel format. There's the evil rat army. So that's what's kind of cool about this book that I like is that we do have the traditional chapter book version and now they are coming out more recently, coming out with the uh, chapter books. So you can continue the story even after you read the chapter books with Super Turbo in the graphic novel form or you don't have to, you can just read the chapter book. All right, so these are some books that I recommend. Let me go back to my original two. Jada Jones, Rockstar, and Super Turbo Saves the Day. Um, and then also, like I just showed you, there's tons of other books at the library for you to read, and we can show you where they are if you're interested. Bye, guys.